Hey everybody, Roger Bar here, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X. Last time, I believe we took out Sting Chameleon and Armored Armadillo. In this episode, we're gonna start off with Boomerang Kawanga. Probably the oddest spa or Maverick name in this game. Uh, it's a very vertical level, so yeah. <laughs> I hope you're good at wall jumping. Uh, Boomerang Kawanga's level isn't so much hard, it's just long, and it can get kind of annoying at parts. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, did I ever show off with Stink Chameleon? Yeah, I did. Did we do Stink Chameleon last level? I don't know. Here's Armored Armadillo's uh, weapon. Charged up. Pretty much you get a shield. And this is very good for grinding at the final boss. I believe it uh, goes away after you take a certain amount of damage. Uh, maybe it was Launch Octopus. But anyway, here's Launch Octopuses. You charge it up and you get... The fish bombs that he shot at us, yeah. That's not great, but you know, it's okay. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, these little red dudes are gonna be blocking our path, so we gotta take them out. But they will shoot us and knock us down, which isn't cool at all. This part, uh, if you hit these red lasers, the dudes up there will shoot at you, and it's kinda hard to avoid. If you can, just try to jump on top of them. If not, just, <laughs> I guess, just take the hit. Uh, alternatively, you could use Sting Chameleon's weapon here. Uh, watch, I'll show you charge it up you can uh, walk through them without taking damage see they won't even realize you're there that's a cool little part uh, now we gotta wait for this for right now oh whatever I guess I'll just run through the turtles until we get there there we go uh, this part kind of tripped me up like I didn't realize that this thing right in front of us was uh, in the foreground I thought it was in the background <laughs> so I was sitting there like, come on, I thought my emulator froze or something, I was moving my controller, I'm like, no, I can still shoot, what the hell, man, this is crazy. <laughs> I, I can't even attack him. So these turtles, you can use a charge shot, take them out pretty easily, and then just r repeatedly fire at them. Uh, spikes in this, well, most parts of this game are insta-death, so do not hit them, they are not pleasant. Not at all. Take out the helicopter dude. Helicopters, god. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> helicopter dudes. Uh, damn. I hate these dudes. They're so annoying. They're like, just bam, right in your face. Oh, really? Really? <sighs> Hold on, I'll be back. Alright, let's try this again. I just want to point out, I totally cleared that spike on the side, so that was complete and utter bullshit. Oh, that was ridiculous. Oh, yeah, spikes are insta-death in this part. Don't hit them or you'll get pissed off like me. And then you'll just want to hit something and throw these guys with the helicopters at somebody. Because they're just rude and mean and ignorant. Yeah, screw it. I'm just going to go around. I don't give a shit this time. <sighs> there you go. Just jump right through there. Uh, we're going to be coming up on another uh, upgrade here in a minute. Well, not upgrade. Well, yeah, whatever. You know what I mean by upgrade. It's going to be a heart piece, okay? <laughs> when I say upgrade now, it means heart piece or sub tank. And there's not a sub tank in this level, so you know what I mean. We will be getting a... Hopefully, well, actually, hopefully getting the last sub tank here soon. So we have three of them. These lizard dudes are annoying. And apparently so are my jumping skills. It's jumping, Mega Man. You do it in every game. Oh my god. <laughs> Die! There we go. Fucking dash jump if you need to. Just make the damn jump. I think that's the same one that tripped me up last time, too. Because like, you can just bear... Yeah, it was. Oh, no, 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 no. It was this one. This little fucking lizard. Yeah, I don't know why. A combination of him and him and this thing retreating are not good for my uh, playability. There you go. Um, like I said, it's a very vertical level. And I believe we're at the end of it right here. Yeah. Well, not the end of it, but the end of the segment. Uh, the heart piece is up there, and you might be saying, well, how the fuck are we gonna get that? Well, there are two ways. You can get the um, weapon from this boss, or... Oops, sorry. You can use your ice weapon, charge it up all the way. Just make sure this dude's behind you. Yeah, we're fucked. Uh, yeah, you wanna make sure he's behind you when you do it. So come out a little bit if you can. Pretty much you're going to hop on that and then hop off uh, uh, this thing once you get to the edge. Like that. Yeah, Um, I'll be showing you how we would have gotten it with the other thing in a different for a different upgrade. Because it's pretty much the same concept. 
this part, there are hella poppers. That man, I just gotta say it. You would think that these things would hurt you, right? But no, like the bottom of them with the propeller and whatnot, they look like they would hurt, like just chopping up Mega Man's face. It's like some kind of horror movie. <laughs> Uh, this guy's kind of annoying, so what I like to do is charge all the way up and press right and then release. And you can usually kill him pretty easy. And jump! Ugh, I hate that. I forget to dash jump sometimes. Ooh, don't do that. <laughs> you can just walk off it or you can dash jump from the ledge. It doesn't really matter. Narrowly avoiding death, but not quite. <laughs> you fool! Uh, just walk by these dudes and... Um, Boomerang Quanger's weakness is the missiles. So, I'm gonna be using them now. Uh, like I said, any enemies that I use their weakness on now, I won't be using them on the boss gauntlet. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go back and watch my videos and see which ones I have and haven't used weapons on once we get to that point. Come on, Boomerang Quanger. Uh, yeah, as you can see, he teleports and he's really fast. Oh, well. I thought he died there. I was like, what? What? <laughs> He's uh he's pretty much the equivalent equivalent of Quick Man. He's even got the boomerang. I think that's pretty much exactly what he is a rip off of. Just Quick Man. So yeah, just keep shooting him with your missiles. I wouldn't charge them because they don't do much more damage at all. You can honestly just spam the missiles if you want to, and it'll it'll work nonetheless. <laughs> all right, so that was Boomerang Quanga. Now we're going to do. Ugh, my least favorite stage, Spark Mandrel. Doo -doo. I don't know, I just hate that stage. I hate him as a boss. I hate the stage itself because it's just really hard. I hate the music and I hate the mini boss. There's a reason I'm doing it last. It's because I hate it. Anyways, there are two upgrades in here and then we'll be almost done collecting upgrades. We'll get one more thing after that. And I'm hoping I'm going to have enough time after this to show it. Depends how long that cut takes. So yeah. Do, 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 do. Shoot this dude. Um, this is another stage that would change or if you haven't beaten a stage previously first. This one is a Storm Eagle. I'm not sure what exactly changes. I believe it's something I believe it's something to do with the mini boss. Like he gets an extra attack or something, but I couldn't honestly tell you. <laughs> Speed attack! Uh, we're gonna get Boomerang Quanger's weapon. Yep. We jump, and at the pinnacle of our jump, if I can do this right, yeah. You uh, shoot it, and it will grab that. That's how you also would have gotten the um, hard tank. Oh man, I can't see for shit anyway, so when the lights go off, I can't see anything. Like, I have really bad sight. Well, at least with colors, because I'm partially colorblind. But yeah, when the lights go off, I can't see anything, really. I just kind of got to hope. And that's why I hate it. Oh, those guys. See those guys? They hit you at the most convenient time. Like, most inconvenient times for you, but convenient for them. They'll hit you. Yeah, like right there. Fucking hit you over the pit. And right there, you do what I just did. You're going to dash and hit them. Yeah, one right there. <laughs> they're everywhere, and they're just, like, perfectly placed to kill you. Once the lights come back on, you don't got to worry about them, because then they'll just go away. I think this is the level that the last piece is in. I could be wrong. Alright, this boss. Use the storm tornado. Be cheap. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to charge that. Here, take damage. That's the only way to get rid of that, is to take damage. You can shoot him normally, or you can just charge all the way up and then get below him and shoot, like this. That'll, that'll mess him up pretty good, too. Either way really works. As long as you're doing damage. Yeah, as you can see, two of those things messes him up good. <laughs> I would highly advise using that against him. Um, I'm. I might be wrong about where that last heart piece is, because this isn't looking very familiar. It might have been a boomerang quanger stage. I think it's in here. Um, these guys are annoying. They just hate you. Dash, dash, come on, just dash. I don't care. Leave me alone, please. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know what these guys are, they kind of look like little cars, I guess. Oh no, this is the right level, okay. I would, well, I knew it was after a turtle. I just didn't know one. Yeah, like there. You gotta do a wall jump and then come back and get it. And now we have full health. <sighs> come on. If I can hurry this up, we can get that last upgrade. 
and still beat what's his face here. Ooh. Uh, I believe the limit of lives you can get in this game is 9, just like any other Mega Man game. So, yeah. Uh, um, turtles, they're just annoying. Favorite, I love turtles, though. Ah, oh, yeah, there's one more section here, and I believe we're at the end. We have the walkers again. And, yeah, one there will come down. One right there. You can shoot them, by the way. I'm just too stupid, too. And shoot the walker. And now we are at the boss. Uh, his weakness is... The ice one. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to use it. Because he is really, really, really hard without his weakness. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that right now. So pretty much what's going to happen is you're just going to shoot him and he's going to freeze dead in his tracks, okay? Watch. Bam. Well, hold on. He'll go up and ceiling. If you want him to come down, just dash underneath him. He'll do that. And then he raises his arms and shoot him again. Once his arms are up, you can shoot him. Yeah, like, you can do it too soon, but you can probably get him anyways. Like, even if he's on the wall and you hit him, he's going to get hurt. He's going he's gonna to be frozen. He's going to fall. And he is just pathetically easy with his what his weakness. <laughs> so yeah, that was Spark Mandrel. He dead. He dead, guys. <laughs> I think uh, this is probably my favorite color palette for Mega Man. Is uh, Chill Penguin's weapon. I really like it. It's blue and yellow, and it's beautiful. You got electric spark. So I'll show this one for the hell of it, why not? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright guys, now that we got our, you know, last upgrade I believe, hopefully. You get to watch cutscene. Oh, I forgot about this. Finally, Mega Man, you made it to my level. We found Sigma's fortress. You're not a wuss anymore, we can finally take him down. Let's go in and put an end to his shenanigans against the humans. Shenanigans. Zero, you're being kind of off today shenanigans praising me. What's wrong with you? As you can see, now we have a Sigma stage here. You go to Sigma and you click it and you'll be good. Anyways, we're gonna back, go back to that spot where I showed you where the health was in this stage and I will be right back. Alright guys, we're here. And this is our last upgrade. I give you a special prize. Now enter the capsule, please. And we get a capsule. Uh, one thing I must note, to get this, you have to come up here and get the pellet that's here four times. If you want, you can come here, grab the pellet, and then jump in the pit, and you'll start at the halfway point instead of restarting, okay? And for doing this, we get... What do we get? 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 A lightning bolt to the face. Nothing changed. What happened? <coughs> Hadouken. Yeah, Mega Man does a Hadouken. Uh, this will... I believe one hit KO most bosses. So what you do is pretty much just like you do in Street Fighter games, down, left, or down, down, left, or whichever way you're going, and the pretty much down, down, right, or down, left, and then right or left. Like say I was facing this way, I'd do down, down, right, and then right. And this way it'd be down, down, left, and then left. So one hit K one hit KO almost all bosses. To get this you need to collect every single uh, upgrade in the game. Alright, yeah, so you can get up here without that jump thing, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, guys, uh, yeah, <laughs> and next time we'll be starting with, uh, the Sigma stages. So, yeah, uh, I'll show you something cool, too. I just wanted to go in here. I probably could've just jumped off, but I already lost a couple lives jumping in the pit. <sighs> when you get to the menu, the music will have changed. See? Now it's Sigma music instead of normal music. Anyway, guys, this has been Rar2Bar. Thanks for watching. Bye.